Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Caroline for Kalicious Loves. As you will see from my previous post, I was in Nigeria. I only managed to buy two items that are not food. So in this video, I will be showing you material things that I got from Nigeria. You cannot really see them. I got two items and they are all handbags. I've got one on my head and I've got one beside me. So if you want to know more details about these handbags, please stay tuned continue watching the video don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the section below about what you think about my purchases during my time in nigeria i didn't do a lot of shopping for me it was more of like trying to get to know the place and food like when i go on holiday i need to eat man like i i love food i'm constantly eating I love handbags. Like I'm not the sort of person who wants to have one bag and carry the same bag all the time. I would rather buy more affordable bags than buy one expensive designer bag. So my first purchase was this purple reed hand woven cross bag. I got this from Leggy Arts and Craft Market. Actually, the story behind this handbag. I didn't really intend on buying it. Oh, of course, I knew I was going to buy something very artsy from the market, but this was more of like a random pick. And this is what happened. Um, me and my sister, uh, Itero, she, she also blogs. But we decided that while we're in Nigeria, instead of just attending the wedding, let's do a collaboration. You know like on an african shoot so shout out to the photographer and all iteros friends that helped out with the photo shoot their handles are below as well please make sure to check them out on uh, instagram so, so we decided to go to leggy arts and craft market to take pictures in more of like an african outfit and when we got there i think the baba i don't know if that's what they call them of the market saw the professional photographer he went bonkers he was like no you cannot take pictures you're not allowed to take pictures in front of stores you know like we don't want you taking pictures of our items that sort of thing and i was like oh okay that's weird like i've never got this before like if i go to an african market i've never had anyone say oh don't take a picture actually most people are willing to give you an opportunity to take a picture so you can show your friends you can recommend them to come and actually buy their items but at this market it was like no you are not taking a picture and so we got the gist that they wanted to be given money to in order to take the pictures but we went on and on arguing about it and in the end the person who owned the first store we wanted to take a picture at say you know what i don't really care you are not get taking pictures from like in front of my store um even if you buy something and i'm like oh my god we just drove here for like 20 minutes and you know like leg was traffic yes. and you're telling me that we can't take a picture we're all dressed up we've got our makeup on and it's hot so we get to another store and we're trying to speak to this guy like please can we just take a picture okay we're going to buy something it was like all right cool if you're buying something that's fine we find a mini bag a reed woven bag but much smaller and in its natural color it wasn't painted okay we're going to get two i'm gonna get one um my friend is going to get one he said no that's not enough take a picture you need to buy something a bit you know expensive so I was like, okay, cool, because I just wanted to get it over with. I was like, no problem. How much is this bag? We priced it. I actually really like it, even though there's circumstances around how I got the bag. I really like it. Colorful. It's it's unique, because I, I don't know where you'd find this bag. Like, it's very unlikely for you to find this exact bag in 
the shop or online unless you go to that particular market and they wouldn't look exactly the same and that's the thing about handcraft items even though they might seem similar they would not be exact exact like in terms of the measurements or like how it looks in the middle you can see that this was painted but it's a bit burnt here and i don't know if that's because of the paint i'm not really sure what i really like about this bag is that it's got a lot of space inside i was able to put in my mini spray um, my phone my charger uh, my power bank and there's still enough space i was also able to keep my friend's phone in this bag so it's quite handy it's quite spacious and what I really like the most about it is that it's got a securing hook. So you know that your items are secure and they will not fall off. This, this bag could be carried in different ways. You could carry it by the shoulder, you know, for a day out, very stylish, or across the body depending on where you're going if you think this is the most secure way to have your bag i really like the fact that you can wear it across the body as well and it's very secure and it's very strong i mean i've carried it like on two occasions and i didn't really have any problems or feel like it was going to damage it's, it's quite lengthy okay let's just do the measurements well this is approximately 48 centimeters so you know depending on body shape i feel like any size would be able to go through and put it across the body um maybe it wouldn't be really comfortable for me it's very comfortable and in terms of the shape the size of the bag itself it's It's actually 21 by 21 i mean <laughs> it's a circle so it's going to be equal i don't even know why i'm measuring it uh in terms of the circumference uh, we're looking at about 69 to 70 centimeters so it's, it's it's quite big and one other way you can carry this bag if you don't want to use the straps Although I feel like if you do this often, you would damage the bag. You can fold the, the strap, put them in, close the bag, and you use this as a clutch. Yeah, depending on how you want to style it. I love a good bargain. My second purchase and my favorite, I guess, purchase out of this whole Nigerian trip is my natural red hand woven horn oil handbag like when I saw this bag we were having the whole market drama and I was like okay let's just take these pictures and then I'll come back to you baby I'll come back to you you're my baby so the first time I asked about the price the guy said 10,000. I was like, hmm? hmm, okay. This time I did not even have any money. I only had my card. And in markets, they do not take cards, they take cash. Uh, so we did the shoot and I asked again. I think there were two people who were money in that store. I was like, how much is the bag? The guy says 15. I'm like, eh? Your colleague just said it was seven, like the best he could do was seven five. I was like, oh, okay, seven five then. And then I kept, like, if this guy said 15, and then seven five, and then before it was 10, this bag must be cheaper. Um, and I asked one of the guys that we went with, and he said, no, you could actually get that for less. I was like, okay, cool. So I wasn't able to buy it on that day because the guy was being difficult. But in my head, I knew I was going to come back. Like, if I go to a place and I really like an item and I haven't had the chance to buy it, I have to come back. We went back two days later. Uh, when we asked the guy, he said 7.5. I was like, price it now. He said 7. So one of our friends who 
we went with um he said you'd actually get this cheaper okay guys don't get me wrong i'm not saying i don't want to pay a lot of money for a nice item i just don't like being cheated because people will keep changing prices and if i can get a good price then i will do my best price i do not regret getting this bag at all like you could have this bag as a hand luggage like a cabin bag because that's how i carried it I, I couldn't put this in my suitcase because i don't want it to damage so you can see the part in here there's a lot of work put into it so this is reed and the, you've got paintings that's purple and green and then you've got the natural color and then you've got leather going across the bag and the handles are actually made out of leather and the lining is made out of leather african handmade items sometimes things like this will have a weird smell this is a natural plant it was made out of a natural plant and the leather my husband says it might be animal skin but i'm not really sure because the bag has a weird smell what i will do is just to leave it out in open space and hope that the smell goes away i'll use this bag if i'm going away for the weekend like i don't know how many people have this bag in the world but i know it's not a lot so i love it i mean one of my friends that i went to the market with was like oh caroline this bag that you keep bagging us about excuse me why why do you want this bag and then she saw it when i took a picture she's like oh like yeah <laughs> there's a lot of space in this bag the person who made this bag puts a lot of effort into it if you don't like this bag guys feel free to let me know and i'll pray for you okay anyway let's measure this bag 51 by somewhere around 31 32 centimeters by 17 51 31 17 this is my favorite bag the zip here you know you can see that the wool is coming out so i'll probably have to cut that and make sure that it does not come out because it might end up damaging the zip is quite simple it's a butterfly like just any other zip really yes yeah, so these are my two main purchases when i went to nigeria i bought them in lagos uh lekki arts and craft market these are the main items that i will be keeping and my memories from lego swahala let me know what you think about these handbags and if it's something that you would buy don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment share with your friends and also don't forget to check me out on instagram at calicious underscore loves also check out my blog at caliciouslabs.com all right guys that's it i feel like i've spoken too much now speak to you soon take care bye hit the subscribe thank you